what's up guys it's zed and welcome to fifa 22's create your club career mode i haven't been uploading for a while now ever since i stopped on fifa 21 so we are here in fifa 22 we're starting new content for the whole year and it's it's going to be fun trust me so i'm going to be doing create your club but it's not the same kind of creative create your club that you guys know i am going to be uh putting my own created players into the created club and I, I know that you can't officially do this with the way the game is right now but i'm going to show you guys how to do it i'm going to show you guys how to do it in this video but i'm going to show you guys how to do it in another video but just want you guys to know that that is what i am doing so i am just going to start right now with uh the team name i'm not going to use the full godzilla i'm going to I'm just going to go for Zilla FC. Okay, so I went for Blades because really there wasn't really anything that I really wanted over there. And Blades just sounded like it would be nice. So it's kind of like the Zilla Blades, you know. So uh, for this one, I think it's just going to be Zilla FC like that. And then the abbreviation for the team will be ZFC, obviously. Okay, so that should be good for now. Then what team are we replacing? We're replacing... Are we going to be in the championship? Yeah, the championship, that's what I want. So we're going to replace Blackpool because they're the lowest. And our rivals are going to be AFC Bournemouth because they're like the highest. So yeah, I'm just going to go for AFC Bournemouth. So for the kids... I'm going to do all this, and then I'm going to do the home kits, the away kits, the crest, and then I'll show you guys that when I'm done, and then we'll do the stadium together. All right, so I am done with the kits. This is what we currently have for the home kits. We have this, uh, it's navy blue, then the secondary color is like this kind of gray, but it's like a bit on the light side, and then we have that, those pink subtle, um, those subtle pink marks on the on the outfit. Then for the away jersey, it's it's basically white, and then the uh, checkered gray. Just it's just kind of subtle. It's not really that obvious, but that's what the away kit is going to be for this season. Then this right here is the team crest. It has like a reindeer sort of antler thing. The, I have no idea what the animal is, but we weren't created in 1994. It was more like 2021, but uh, I mean, no one cares. We can't really create a custom logo. So, yeah, we're moving on to the stadium. I think I already kind of have an idea of the stadium that I want. So I'm just going to do that, and then I will show you guys after I am done. We're pretty much done with the stadium. We use Molting Road, but then we have changed the name of the stadium to Godzilla Arena. All right, so the goal song I went with is Brain Freeze. I'm not going to play it now because I have no idea if I should or not. But anyways, you guys will hear it eventually. It's called Brain Freeze. And then the crowd chants, I went from the one with Borussia Dortmund. And then, oh, oh I think I played this one. Okay. Yeah, that's it sounds like that. I mean, I don't think this one's been copyrighted. So. Then the Walker Anthem, I didn't pick any because I really didn't want to have another club's Walker Anthem for my club. So I'm just going to leave that one blank. And that is pretty much it for the stadium customization. So next up is the squad. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how this is going to work, obviously, I'm, I'm going to want it to be... Uh, Three. I'm going to put it as balanced because why do I want to put it as balanced again? Anyways, yeah, because I just want it to be like this because the players I have that I'm going to put into the team, they're like all on the young side. So I just want it to be balanced itself. So I want everything to be balanced rather. So I'm, I think I'm going to put it on this yeah two and a half should be okay yeah and then i think i'm good i'm just going to have to put 50 million 
euros in the bank because I'm going to have to like sign the created players I have that I want to put into this team. Anyways, it's going to be hard to explain. I'm just going to make a video of it. I already said that before. So for the board expectations, it's a small club, obviously. So I'm going to just put the things for a small club. A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. Anyway, I forgot to tell you what's going to happen in this series. I'm going to be doing 10 seasons. I might do two different creates, create a club um, series this year for FIFA 22. And I'm going to do like 10 years each for the um, create a club episodes I am doing. So uh, with all that being said, let's just look at this Youth Academy. Any players that catch my eye? Okay, there's this guy, Emil Nurminen. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but he's the one I like. And this guy, I mean, they might still end up getting maybe low 80s, but I mean, it's, it's still good. They're 17 at that. So, well, I'm just going to do the development plans for them and then watch them grow. Euros Vidovic, that's, that's a nice name, actually. So here they are, the creative players in the creative club. We have all 11, like I created the starting 11 and I have put them into the squad. As you can see, they don't have any faces because they're like from the outer create a player, the one that's outside the uh, career mode. So they don't have faces, but I mean, I don't mind. They have faces when I'm playing. So yeah, so there is Suho, there is Rivera, there is Zaid. There is Devo, there is Faulkner, there is Strandberg, De Verda, Al-Rahal, Harrison, and Bakari. Then the keeper, I have no idea why I picked this name, but I think it's pronounced Tovaldsin. Tovaldsin, yes. He, yes, something like that. So, um, the starting level that was here initially, they're all going to be down here so that means that my squad is actually going to be filled up and i'm i might be sending some people out on loan or not i might be selling some people you know the same old same old now before i go into anything else you guys will never believe what i just saw i just saw toby all the world in the free agency which means that we can get an 83 rated defender off the bat that that is crazy even though our even though our current uh center back is like six six tall i mean i still feel that this guy will have like a couple things to to add to the team so i'm just going to approach to sign him and let's see how this is going to go Okay, they want a crucial role and then he wants 21,000 per week with a signing bonus of 61. I mean, I can definitely do that, so I'm just going to do that. Wow, okay, that's something. So we have Otherworld in our team now. Okay, so we're just going to skip all the way to here. I think the preseason tournament should be done by this time. Okay, so we did not get through. That is the first match. We won it, then we lost the second one, and then we drew the third one. I guess, like, luck just was on our side. We still have a lot to do in this team. And by the way, I did forget to introduce you to the team. I, 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 I sorted it with the uh, highest rating, so you guys will see the uh, created players that I have. This is Karim Zaid from the United States. He's 79 overall. Then we have the goalkeeper, Varsi, Tor, Varsi Tovaldsen. I Again, I have no idea why I even gave this guy such a complicated name to pronounce. But yeah, I mean, I was looking through the commentary names and I saw it there and I liked it and I just picked it. So yeah, next up is De Verda from Brazil and then Toby Bakari from Nigeria. That is my country right there. I mean, 
I just had to rep it. I had to put someone in there from out here. So Mohammed Al Rahal, he is from Egypt. Then Logan Devoe from France. We have Jadon Rivera, also from the United States, on our striker. <clears throat> Sorry. Then we have Song Su Ho as uh, the left midfielder. Then uh, this guy is not created. We have Michael Harrison as the center back. And then Jorgen Strandberg as the CDM. And I think this is the last person. And the captain, we have George Faulkner. So that's the created players, as you guys can see. I really don't think I need to show you guys the faces of the other players in the team. Even though some are pretty good, like this guy right here. He's he he is pretty good, but you know, Karim Zaid is better. Oh, this guy is even from Nigeria as well. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, okay. Now I have done some training drills. I have done everything. I'm not going to play this match because it's not in our home stadium. The first match I want to play in this episode has to be in the host in the home stadium that is the Godzilla Arena. But I'm just going to check out how these guys are going to fare in this match. I'm going to sim it. And I forgot to take it up to quick sim, so I guess this is what is going to be happening. I'm, I'm going to have to watch the uh, what do they call it? The interactive simulation. So right now it's one zero in 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 the half time. I'm just going to make a couple substitutions, and yeah, we drew the match. Thankfully, Devo scored the first goal for the the team. I mean, that's not the first goal. The first competitive goal for the team. And i like to see who will be the first person I will use to score a goal. But before I do that, I have to change their numbers so that, you know, it makes some sort of sense. So there's a transfer offer for Jordan Reed, the one of our center backs. How much is that? Six, two. And the board is telling me to take, I, I mean, I think I was going to go for this nine, three hundred. Right there, because like I don't know, I just want to stack as much money as I can. I mean, if they don't want that, then I mean, fine. So that much is the Carabao Cup. I'm not really focused on that competition right now, so I'm just going to sim past that. We do win it, and then we are going to be we are going to be playing against Cardiff City in our home stadium. The first match we're ever going to play against. And let's see how we are going to do. Are we going to grab our first win? This is the lineup that we're going for for this match. And I'll talk to you guys after the match is over. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football. And we're looking forward to the game. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's the Blades, and they take on Cardiff City. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And so the match is underway. And two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Has a go. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Rivera. It's a good looking ball in behind. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great set. Not showing good patience. Strandberg. Is it going to be? 
Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. Four minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Must be no way through. High echelon goalkeeping there. And he's fired over the corner. And he's gone and scored to level us again. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper. Oh, a big mistake. It's got to be. Oh, a goal. The error seized upon, and the goalkeeper left with egg on his face. Well, let's take another look, and it certainly doesn't improve, does it? The less said about that, the better. It's a poor mistake. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half. Oh, Stuart, opportunity here. Superb stop. Has a go. High echelon goalkeeping there. Field match. Here's Alex Scott with the news. Huddersfield Town. It's now level at 1-0 with 73 minutes on the clock. Thank you, Alex. Oh, surely. Well, such a high degree of difficulty. Not quite. Well, listen to this atmosphere. It's been such a tight game, but the fans are certainly doing their bit in trying to get them over the finish line. Excellent vision. Unable to put the seal on victory. Well, what a chance, Derek. That was the game the situation. Right he knew that was going wide. We have entered the final minutes of normal time. <laughs> Showing excellent vision. There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and it's a good run, matched by a very cool finish. What a great... The referee blows for full time. Alright, so that right there is the match we have won. Our first match. And it's not really our first match, but it's the first match that we have played. And that's the only match that we're going to be playing this episode. It was a really, really, really nice game, to be honest. And, well, there were a lot of chances. The defending is completely fucked up. I have to say that. I mean, it's really, really hard to defend in the game. I have no idea what they did. The way it was in FIFA 21 was fine. But it's just so weird now. I don't know if it's because it's not like a top tier team, but it's just really uncomfortable to defend. I guess that's the word to use. And we are currently fourth on the table. We are two points behind Peterborough, and <laughs> it's like everyone on the freaking table is on four points. That is really dangerous. We have to keep winning. We have to win our second match against Coventry. This is what's up for our next episode. I'm going to be trying to do a a month per episode and uh, I mean I'm just going to do these four matches in the next episode so um, thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video peace